cash flow, credit cards, petty cash, paychecks, and tags. In this lesson, you will learn how to use credit cards, petty cash, set up paychecks, and use tags. Add a credit card account. We will start the lesson by showing you how to add a credit card account. Click Add Account. Select the credit card radio button. Enter the name of your financial institution. Continue setting up the account as we did for the checking account. Enter a name for your account which will easily identify the account. Enter the date of your last statement and your balance. Enter your credit limit. You have now set up your credit card account. We will show you how to enter in additional information. Right click on your credit card account and we will enter in more account details. You can also reach the Edit Account menu from the account list. Select the Edit Account menu item. Here, you can enter in additional account information, including setting the interest rate for the account. It is a good idea to know exactly how much interest you pay for each type of credit card, as interest rates vary from card to card. Click Online Services to set up your online services for this account. You can also set up the services as we did in the previous lesson. Here, you can view and set up your online options. Click OK when finished. Using the credit card registry. Select the account to go to the registry. We will now show you how to use the credit card register. A charge is recorded when you use your credit card for a purchase or when the credit card company charges you a fee. A payment is recorded when you send money to the credit card company to reduce your balance or when the credit card company gives you a credit. Recording a credit card transaction is more or less the same as recording banking transactions. There are some transactions which are more common to credit card transactions, which we will briefly cover. We will record a $100 credit from the bank for opening the account. Enter a memo. If you don't select a category, Quicken will prompt you to do so. Categories are very useful for tracking important information about your income and expenses. Select the item. We will change our entry. If you make incorrect changes to a transaction, but don't record the transaction, you can undo your changes by right-clicking the mouse and clicking Restore Transaction. Right-click the mouse and select the Restore Transaction menu item. By clicking on a header, you can sort transactions by that header. If the triangle is pointing up, it means transactions are ordered from A to Z, with A at the top. If the triangle is pointing down, transactions are ordered from Z to A, with Z at the top. We will now show you how to enter in a bank charge. In this next transaction, we are recording a finance charge from the credit card company. Since this is a fee for a service, it is recorded as a charge. Adding a petty cash account. Ever wonder where all that money you take out of the bank goes? Quicken allows you to set up a petty cash account so you can track where you're spending all that cash you've been pulling out of the bank. It can add up. Click Add Account. The Quicken account setup is the same setup you've seen before. Select the Cash Radio button. Give the account a name. Enter in the date you want to start with the account and how much cash you have. Funding your petty cash account. We will now transfer money from our checking account into the cash account. This would be when you withdraw cash from the bank. If you don't care about tracking your petty cash, 
you can always record a withdraw as an ATM category. Select Transfer. Record the transfer from your checking account to your cash account. You are withdrawing money. Enter a memo. Enter the amount of the transaction. When you make a cash purchase, save your receipts. Then, at the end of each week, you can enter in all of your receipts at once. Enter in the transaction information. Select the text box. We can enter in a new category if necessary. This can be useful if you want to track a particular expense. Select Add Category. Enter in the new category information. Setting up a paycheck. We will now show you how to set up a paycheck. Once you configure a paycheck, you can schedule paycheck deposits and use the information for tax planning and preparation. Select the banking menu. Select the banking activities menu item. Select the setup paycheck menu item. Here you are given the option to add a new paycheck, edit a paycheck, or delete a paycheck. We will add a new paycheck. Select whether this is your paycheck or your spouse's paycheck. Fill out the company name and a memo. This time, we will select, I want to track all earnings, taxes, and deductions. Tracking only net deposits will not provide you with any information or allow you to track your company benefits. Select the account where the paycheck is going. Select the day you will receive your check, how often you will receive it, and set a reminder or choose to have the transaction entered automatically. If you have a direct deposit and your check is the same each month, you can schedule Quicken to automatically make the entry for you. Otherwise, you can schedule a reminder. To enter your gross earnings, you can either click the amount and enter in a new one, or click the edit button and make changes. To add a pre-tax deduction, click the Add Pre-tax Deduction button and select the type or types of pre-tax deductions. Pre-tax deductions are things like 401k contributions, medical insurance, etc. Verify the information entered in the window and add in the amount of the deduction. Continue adding any additional deductions in the same manner. Select the Flex Spending menu item. Some items may prompt you to create a new account. You can create this account just as we created other accounts previously. Select the date of your next contribution and the value of the account. Enter the amount of each contribution. Next, enter in your tax information as per your paycheck. If you have after-tax deductions, click the Add After-Tax Deduction button and select the appropriate item. Here is a list of common after-tax deductions. Quicken calculates your net pay and your W-2 gross pay. Verify this information against your paycheck stub for accuracy. Click Done to save your paycheck configuration. If you want to enter all of your year-to-date information so your benefits and tax information is complete, select I want to enter the year-to-date information and click OK. This is a good idea because otherwise you really don't know what you've put in for the year. Fill out the year-to-date information according to your payroll stub. Click Enter when finished. Click Done to close the Manage Paychecks window. Using Tags 
We will now show you how to use tags. Tags are very useful for tracking income and expenses of things such as investment properties or other investments where tracking your revenues and costs is needed. Note, if you have a small business, Quicken offers a package which is made to handle the needs of small businesses. We will discuss this in a later chapter. Type in the name for your tag. Since you entered in a new tag, you will be prompted to complete the new tag information. A copy number is important for tax purposes because each investment property requires a separate Schedule E. By assigning in a different copy number to each property, you can easily keep track of each property. We can now keep track of transactions associated with the tagged item by attaching the tag to the transaction. Select the appropriate tag. You have reached the end of lesson cash flow, credit cards, petty cash, paychecks, and tags.